ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where we're basically taking care of the, uh, the mundane, slightly boring everyday business of, uh, of being a thief, which is selling the shit you have stolen. Or several, however many tons of it at this point. I've gotten rid of almost everything that's in my inventory currently. But there's still loads of crap that's on Patsy that needs to be dealt with. In addition, um, we need to go back and see Screever about uh, about our payment. But before we do that, we need to find Ontas Vanin's house and put the ice staff into it to wrap up our little business here. So the Major's Guild can have their stupid staff back. Who will help an old beggar? I will help an old beggar. If you tell me where Auntus Vanin is. Isn't he a wizard at the uh, Arcane University? Uh, I think he lives somewhere in the Talos Plaza district. Well, that just happens to be where we are now. Oh, sh sh yep. Sure, I know. Lexus pulled city guards from the Arc. Last I heard. He was in the slums by the north end of the docks. Okay, you need to work on the accent, mate, but also that was... Whatever. Have your five gold. But I already knew that. Um, we'll just say that was five gold for the info about Antus Vanin. Um, right, he lives over there, basically. We'll just pretend the old beggar pointed that out. In a very daggerfall, let me mark this on your map kind of a way. Oh gosh, hello. Uh, he's still in. Um, doesn't seem to have noticed me peek my head around the door there, so that's okay. Um, we'll come back later then when he's asleep. Of course he was still in the doors unlocked. Ugh. Right then, uh, let's go out here because Patsy's actually at the front stables this time. Okay. Patsy, hello! I'm pleased to see you too, but could you get back in the stables, please? Seriously. I know that these guys aren't the nicest, but seriously, just, just over here, please. Thank you. Now then. What have we in here? Oh, gosh, all well, my mythical armor. Okay, uh, these. Uh, some, oh, lots of wine. Um, skooma. My tea. Flower for some damn reason. Um, grand soul gem. Soul level greater. Oh yeah, I was holding on to that one for maybe doing some enchanting with, wasn't I? No, yeah, we'll keep that then. Uh, Vile Stone, Welkin Stones. I don't think I really need Welkin Stones, do I? So we'll take those, we'll sell them. There's Mort. There's this random crystal ball. There's the tent. Okay, not actually that much stuff on you. As it turns out. Okay, that's fine, that makes my job easier. Means you're much lighter as well, so you'll you'll run much faster. Gallop, really? I don't think horses run, do they? They gallop. Um. Okay, so there's that taken care of. Um, what else do we need to do at this point? Sell up these few extra bits. Let's go see um what's his face in the market district. Uh, um, Edwin something. I I I remember. Um. Discount spells, that guy, you know. Edgar, Edgar, that was it, Edgar Votrine, I think. Rhymes with latrine. Some of the conversations they have. You have my ears, sir. I don't want your ear. 
take it back. Good old laggy market district. There we go. This is the place. Well met. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Weather ward circlet. I wish it actually was a weather ward circlet. I was in. It warded the weather. <laughs> that way, I wouldn't have to put up the rain all the time. But instead, it's just resists fire seven percent and resist frost seven percent, which is rubbish. Very rubbish. You got anything that's actually good? Heal other. You know what, I'll take those for healing me horse with. I wouldn't make that deal with just anybody. Open hard lock. I don't think I need open average lock. Right. Would you like this robe of protection? Actually, first of all, let's just get rid of a few little stupid things. Um, if I can... Or maybe not, actually. Never mind. Alright, take this robe of protection. I don't want it. Pleasure to serve you. Yeah, sure. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think that's more or less it, isn't it? Do I feel like robbing anywhere tonight? No. To tell you the honest truth, I really don't. We've practically ransacked this damn city anyway as it is. Uh, I think we'll just leave it for now. Although I'd still want to rob the Emperor's estate in the, in the Noble District, to tell you the truth. That's something that's still on my agenda uh, eventually one day. But not right now. Um, tell you what. Let's pop into the Merchant's Inn. Have ourselves a seat. Get a drink, you know. Wait around for a while. Until it's night time and then we'll uh, head over to Ontis Vanin's house, you know. Of course, he's a mage, which means he might be staying up till ungodly hours of the night, but we'll see. All right, everyone's on their way out. I shall be on my way out as well. Who the devil is that with a fancy dress? Oh, it's the Enchanter Lady, isn't it? Could use the sewers to get around if I was just feeling particularly paranoid, but it's also the sewers. And the sewers, as we know, are full of, uh, well, vampires, among other things. So that's not great. Hello there. Right. I'm just vanning out. I don't have the magic ring of chameleon anymore. I feel almost naked without it. We'll have to make do. My sneak skill's pretty good these days, to be fair. It's not locked. That's worrying. Told you. Bloody mages. Right. This is going to be risky business, but... need to get this done so right, that looks like a strong box over there gold ball eh <laughs> don't mind if I do right I staff planted let's get the heck out of here not gonna come upstairs is he I think we might be okay let's just uh, sk skedaddle Tempt me, you tempt me. 
Oh, God. Ouch. All right. Where's a... Uh... I bought these specifically for situations like this. Hmm. I'll let you decide if that was worth it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm getting out of here. I think it drained my magic or something. But that's what the trap did. Oh, no, there's another chest here. Rune banded chest. He's right over there. Don't be ridiculous. You can't get away with this. Actually, I think I should wait till he's facing the other direction. Tempting, but you just know it to explode in my face. And maybe there'd be no way he didn't notice. All right, so I am glowing faintly red. <laughs> But we're good. Jobs a good un. Do I need to speak to anyone now? Go see Screever. Oh great, we're going back to Breville, eh? Joy of joys. Well, I'm gonna get a good night's sleep before that happens, I think. No reason to rush off in the middle of the night this time. Hello. Hello, he's, are you he must be drunk. I bet he's drunk. No one stands there in the middle of the night going, hello, like that. <laughs> Unless they've had a lot of mead. Um, okay. Sky. Look at that sky. The moons are out. Stars are out. It's quite a nice night. After all that rain. Use there. Even now, part of me instinctively wants to go turn off that way towards my little cellar basement thing that I used to have. I still haven't quite gotten past that. All right. Nice bit of Morrowind music. Okay. Nice civilized time of the morning. It's a nice civilized morning. Not too baking hot. Not too chilly. It's not raining. It's nice. Bit of a breeze, you know? So, back to Breville. Great. I wasn't looking forward to going back to Prevail anytime soon, but hi ho. You have my ears. Of course, uh, I haven't robbed the Breville Castle Vault. It's you. That's You're not something I've actually done yet. Although attempting as it is, what is it, citizen? I feel like I want to lay off the vault robbing for a while. We didn't we only we only just did Leowin not that long ago, so. We're not in a rush here. And you spare a coin. And you spare a coin. Don't be the last to read today's Black Horse Curry. Sorry? Okay, you're already still on the same one then. You too. I demand to hear news of my exploits in the Black Horse Courier, you know. More news, you know. I've already had some. You? I want to say more. I'm, I'm famous without actually being famous. That's the great thing about being a hey thief. You make the headlines, but no one actually knows who you are. Um, I was going to say, all the water's disappeared from the, from the lake again. Right. 
Batsy! It is time to hit the road once again. Yeah, you're quite bloody quick now. You're not laden down with loads of crap, aren't you? Good lord. Whee! Did you go? In fact, you're so fast that your turning circle's a bit wonky. I can't get you around these bits. Off into the countryside. Uh, the countryside. <laughs> Don't think Arthur's a big fan of the countryside. Bad things happen in the countryside. As pretty as it is. It's full of things that want to kill you. And places and ruins and things that are full of also things that want to kill you. At least we know the way to reveal now. And at least we're fast enough to outrun anything that does try to kill us along the way. Because uh, as we all know... Arthur can sneak like a champion, but is completely just utterly pathetic in a fight. Really, he, he is as well. Like, that's not just, it's not even just me role playing. Like, that's genuinely, his blunt is 35 versus a sneak, which is 89. Like, he can sneak and be unseen, but he actually gets in a fight. He's absolutely hopeless. Both in terms of role playing and, and actual game mechanics, which is, a, which is nice. I like that, to tell you the truth. It's nice when the role-playing and the game mechanics kind of gel with one another like that. I wonder how much we're going to get paid for this mess then. Not enough would be my guess, but hey, having said that, we did get quite a few good bits of loot in the process of this whole thing, didn't we? It's in the Arcane University and then onto Fanon's house and Just you're just a dog, you're not Merlin. Speaking of Merlin, where the heck has he got to? I'm gonna have to summon him in a minute. Aren't I clearly in fact let's do it now. It's really quite annoying that you have to do this all the time. There you are, you silly dog. Come on. Do I need to get you to follow me? Yeah, you've got you've gone back into standstill mode, haven't you? Follow. Heal boy, come on. That's a good dog. Drop a little quick save. Ah! This place. I forget the name of it again. Pell's Gate, was that it? Pell's Gate, yes. My favorite little tiny settlement of civilization in the middle of the wilderness. On my way to and from the Imperial City. Whenever I'm going south or east. With the inn, with the, uh, the procedurally generated... Uh, text-to-speech lady. <laughs> this is odd to me. I don't know why they did that with the uh, with the mod. Why, why not just use a voice set that actually does have, like, lines for an in? I, just, I don't know. Weird. There must have been a reason. around here. I don't think I've explored very much. It's another inn down there. And there's that shrine and whoa, stay on the road. The Inn of Ill Omen. Oddly named place if you ask me, but hey. And another shrine. And there's the spooky dark forest that I don't particularly want to go into. Not without very good reason, anyway. Not 
wonder what Mazog is up to. Probably doing nightly questing stuff. Get out the road. <coughs> I wonder where that leads. Those mountains over there. Would those be the, would those be the Velothi Mountains or, or what? There's a pirate who evidently seems to have forgotten his ship. Northern County Gates. Yep, here we are. At the dilapidated, smelly mess that is Breville. You probably smell it before you see it, don't you, really, this place? How are you? What is it now? What is it now? You're the guy I rescued from a bunch of wolves, aren't you? What is it now? Git. Oh, gate guard's not here. Smelly corpses are, though. It's a shame I had to go in the city then. I like that bit of music. Of course, this bit of music's good too. Right. Uh, she'll be... That's her house. Is she in? Ah. Amuse sends his regards. Ah, yes, Amuse. He's welcome. Uh, Pebble finds a bounty? The hunter can pay his fines to the guards, serve his time, or Deal pay on the this skimmer, one half, I see. and they will all go away. Okay, I don't have any bounty. Good. Uh, Hieronymus Lex. Hieronymus Lex has left the waterfront. Well done. Methradel's report tells me that you have done well. You have earned your reward. I am promoting you to Cat Burglar, which means you can use Luciana Galena of Breville as your fence. Congratulations on your new rank. Nice. Got, any else, got anything else for you then? Because I'm, I'm fresh out of things to do right now, honestly. I have need of a very special book. The Lost Histories of Tamriel. The cat burglar Theranus was sent hunting in Skingrad for this book. Hmm. However, Theranus has not been seen since. The grey fox himself hunts for this book. I need you to find Theranus. Really? Help Theranus bring back this book. If Theranus is unwilling or unable, bring back the book yourself. Are you agreeable? Yeah, I guess so. I'll do it. That is good. Go to Skingrad. The trail starts there. Skingrad, eh? Doesn't the yeah. shadow hide? <sighs> Have we been to Skingrad yet? Yeah. I don't think we've been to Skingrad yet. It's got to be nicer than this dump, at least. Right, Luciana Galena. Where in the hell? Where in hell's name is she going to be? Or a beggar I can talk to. Me children will thank you for your help. Uh, right. Have this coin. Let's pretend that you told me where Luciana Galena is, or at least where her house is. Let's have a look. somewhere. House for sale, eh? <laughs> Maybe not. She did say Breville, didn't she?
Luciana Glenn's house. There it is. But oh, I already moused over it at least once, didn't I? Sorry, comments who are already yelling at me. Sorry. Why did you all disappear? That was weird. Build Damu directly. Who in Go on. Interesting outfit. The great fox protects you. You're a sneaky looking sort. So are you. Uh right. Gotta get to the other side of the river. Default oblivion music. For an old beggar. That doesn't come up very often. At least it doesn't seem like it. Alright, uh, should be around here somewhere. Luciana Galena's house. House for sale. That's the house for sale, huh? Luciana Galena's chest. Luciana Galena's house. She's not in. Perfect. Let's see if she's actually in, but just has the door locked. No. She's definitely not in. Are we calling this a house now? It's a bed set at best, an apartment at best. Know what's going on with this piece of architecture here? Jesus, Reveille. What a mess! <laughs> All right, well, where's Luciana Galena then? I've got stuff to sell, and the warlock's luck is making weird noises again. Um, so these houses are a bit better. Happy potion. This is a bit more reasonable. Maybe she's in one of the taverns or something. Oh, this is one, yeah, this is one of them right here. Lonely Suter Lodge. Greetings to you. Oh, what? Hello. Heard any news lately? Jean Pierre Le Mans. The Emperor and his three sons Templar Tabard in Tamriel, which shouldn't even freaking exist. There you are. Is this pleasure or business? Uh, why are you asking? Uh, pay attention and you can learn a lot. Oh, huh. all right then. You've got a lot. You've got a lot. There's much I can show you. I'm willing to. Knowledge is cool. A bit light armor. You are one hot customer. All right, lady, stop. You're not my type, okay? Nothing personal, but. Actually, how many lockpicks do I have? 160? Could do with a top-up, I guess. Right. Stuff to give you. Uh, yep. Greater amulet of something or other. Robe of glib tongues, a stupid high rock I do helmet. think I've been taken advantage of. Would you please cease and desist, woman? Um, these as well. Nine gold? Are you joking? Oh, I wish I hadn't sold that now. I do. I do think I've been taken advantage of. Uh, I'm not even haggling with you. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, that can go. As can that. That's it, really. I'll get a better deal for that elsewhere. So I will hold on to it for now. I tell you what, I don't 
need these. Potions of sorcery, that's not something I require. Anything good to buy? Not really. No, not really. Mithril dagger, I mean, that's a thing. But I don't need a mithril dagger, so. Let's just keep this affair between the two of us. Shadow hide. I'm leaving.